Hi guys, I made this uh, fall quilt card for the Art Impressions Watercolor Weekend. To begin, you need to use the second from the largest of the Art Impressions A2 double stitch dies out of your watercolor paper or Bristol vellum surface paper as I used here. And then st stamp your house after inking it in um, N25 Tombow pen. And don't forget to stamp it off on a piece of paper prior to stamping it on your paper. Pull the color out of the, the lines for the shadows. I used the 856 red to paint the door. And then I used the N25 to make um, shutters for the windows. I used the N25 um, in lines and then kind of squished them <laughs> together to make the roof like a, look like a black shingled roof. And then I used the 969 brown to make the um, chimneys look like they had stones on them. And I took the, the blue Tombow Twin Tone pin to color in my windows. I use a little of the 565 to add some more shadows. And now I take the 177 green pin to make some rose bushes in my front yard. Add a little water and then I add some of the green from the palette um, into my front grassy yard. I use a little bit of the brown 969 for a pathway and then I'll use the 969 to ink up a tree trunk that I'll stamp on both sides of my house. I use the Three Little Heart Flowers and the 856 Red to ink up the roses. Then I will add a little water to them. I'm using the foliage in orange um, 925 to ink up one of the trees. And I use the um, 025 to ink up the other tree. And then I will add some water to both trees and smooth the color, color out a bit. And I'll take the grass color, the 177, and complete the grass um, around the trees. And I'll take a little blue 565 off the palette and put some shadows under the bushes and around the trees. I'm going to use 526 blue to um, create my sky. I'm 
So the top half of my card is pretty much done and now I'm gonna going to build the quilt down below. So I put some double-sided tape along there and um, put my quilt frame down and then I will um, start building the quilt with pieces I've already cut out um, and filled with a little container. So my quilt's done and now I take a little one inch clothespin and I use wire cutters to cut the half of the pin off so it's not too high and bulky and then I glue the spring into place and then add some more glue to make it look like it's a quilt hanging on the line in front of the house like those pictures you see on calendars and Pinterest and um, cards. I love those and I wanted to create something like that. So this is how I did it. I hope you try it and I hope you will tag me so I can check it out. I'm inspired by all of you as you may be inspired by me. And I hope if you like this video, you give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, for a complete list of supplies, go to my blog spot. Thank you for watching.